everybody it's so fresh diamond i wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about my hair my hair is from glam angels hair and this is the brazilian loose wave i have in a 22 a 20 an 18 and a 16 in a closure um a lot of you guys have been asking me on instagram what is this color how did i get it what did i do so this is the video for the k michelle inspired hair color slash wig now you guys know k michelle always gives us so much life on instagram and on love and hip-hop atlanta and on her videos i mean her hair is just always slayed tokyo styles just Oh, he's amazing his hair color his wig techniques everything is just amazing and her hair is always just laid honey to the gods attitude hair personality everything just blends in so well so I just decided to do a inspiration or a recreation of the K Michelle red hair you guys know I have several videos inspired by K. Michelle. I have the three-tone ombre, which I'll post below. I also have the blonde bombshell tutorial that I'll post below. And now I'm rocking my red hair that you guys get to see now. So, again, this is the Glam's Angel Hair, Glam Angel's Hair, and it is the Brazilian Loose Wave. It is a 22, a 20, 18, 16, and a closure. Um, I did not use all of the hair. And this is not a review, guys. This is just showing you guys how I got this hair color. Um, but I'll show you guys the hair I had left though. And you guys know I love full hair, so I was really surprised when <laughs> I wasn't able to squeeze all this hair in. But this is the rest of the hair that I had left. Excuse that blonde, honey. <laughs> but that's the hair that I had left over. Um, I don't know. I might still try to squeeze it in here. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try um, so yeah, let's get into this gorgeous, gorgeous hair color. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, so basically what I did was, and I know a lot of y'all are going to be cussing me out because I always come back with an excuse of why I don't have a video showing you guys detail the details of how I got this hair color. But I'm sorry, y'all gonna have to just cuss me out and I'm gonna have to get my life together soon. Um, but basically what I did was I lifted my hair to um, a nice brownish blonde color. And I'll show you guys the bleach okay, today. Okay, so I used the Kaleida colors in violet. And I just used this bleach from Sally's. I think it was on sale for like $12.99. I think the regular price is like $18.99. Um, but I just used this with the 40 developer and lifted my hair to a pretty blondish brown color. And because I did not, and because I did not make a video, I did fortunately take pictures. So I will show you guys now how the hair looked um, after I had bleached the hair using the purple bleach. So take a look. Okay, so after I got that color, I went out to my local beauty supply and I purchased this burgundy red. I purchased this burgundy red hair color. And it's by, I think you call it Vaya Natural Semi Hair Color. And this was $3.99 at my local beauty supply store. Um, I got about six bottles. I don't know why in the hell I got so many bottles. I think I just got carried away. But anyways, I only ended up using like three of these because there's so much dye that comes in this little small bottle. I actually got two bundles with this one bottle. So I, in, I did not end up using a lot. Um, I also show you guys a picture now of how the hair looked after I applied the hair color um, in the drying stage. And also, um, 
this hair color I don't know if because I lifted it a little too light maybe I shouldn't have lifted the hair at all but it's more so of a red color to me it's not burgundy but it's very very appropriate for the fall honey you know falls are your time when you bring out your your reds your browns your auburn colors your black your dark hair so on camera this hair looks a little bit lighter than what it actually is but this hair is actually like a nice dark red color that i am absolutely in love with and i'm so happy at the turnout um you guys know who follow me on instagram no i have been going off the chain with hair color lately so hair color has been my little fetish <laughs> lately so this is just my my newest project and I do like it and what I actually did was for these curls I just used a wand curl I used my four in one curling wand and I just wanded my hair nothing too special but this hair does hold curls for a very long time like before I decided to redo my curls I had actually had curls in my hair that lasted for three days and it just dropped into these pretty waves really really cute um <clears throat> this hair is really really soft real soft like i did not have i had a little bit of shedding but i think that was just because you know anytime you use bleach it's going to be a little bit damaging and harsh to your hair but this hair did bounce back of course i let it side in conditioner and you know tried to give it its moisture back I haven't experienced any tangling and you guys know how I feel about tangling I don't like it I don't like hair I don't um, like that hair that tangles up in the back of my neck and this hair does not do that um but here's a if you guys are interested in me doing a curling wand tutorial of course just thumbs up this video and you guys know it'll be coming to you it may take me a while <laughs> <laughs> to bring it to y'all but y'all know I'm gonna bring it to y'all um, a lot of people on Instagram as well as YouTube have been asking me to do a tutorial on how I do my wigs really come on y'all for real I mean really y'all like for real there are so many videos here on YouTube showing you guys how to make you part wigs how to make side part wigs and you know, honey, my time, child, my time. <laughs> I have to try to find the time to do that. So, at the moment, y'all, just look at another video, okay? I'm sorry to say that, but I just don't have the time. But I will tell y'all this. The the units that I rock with the side with the side swoop, I am going to do a tutorial on that because a lot of people have been asking about that more than the actual units of the U-part wigs. And a lot of people have been um, trying to figure out how to do it. And so, so has myself. This has been a learning experience for myself. So a lot of the times when I don't make videos to certain things, it's because I'm doing it for practice and I don't want to get on camera and make a fool out of myself, if that makes sense. So sometimes I just do things on the spare of the moment. If it comes out good, I'll come back and show you guys a video on how to do it. Also, if you guys are interested in this makeup look, then of course you guys know to thumbs this baby up and comment below. And this is the end of the video, so I will talk to you guys later. And there's another video coming up soon, and it is a vlog. So, anyways, let me stop being silly. I hope you guys enjoyed this little small video. Any questions you guys know, you can leave it below. I have been slacking, okay, I admit it. I have been slacking big time on answering comments like oh my god I didn't even realize how bad I have gotten with not answering comments so if you guys comment below of course I'm gonna try my best to answer it the only thing is I take my iPad with me everywhere and for some reason YouTube doesn't let iPad some for some reason the iPad won't allow you to comment back on the YouTube comments so I have to wait till I get around a big ass computer on my laptop and you know that's always at home so Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye!